Are you going to visit Massachusetts but don't know where to visit? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to be talking about the nine best places to visit in Massachusetts. If you guys do enjoy today's video, then please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. With all that said, let's begin. Taking the number one spot, we have Franklin Park Zoo. Opened in 1912 and situated in the west corner of Franklin Park, the 72-acre zoo is New England's largest. Some of the animal collection there consists of the African lion, the emu, the ostrich, the ocelot, and the crocodile. And that's not all, they have well over 100 animals. Going down south now, at number two, we have Lobsterville Beach in Aquana. It is a popular spot for fishing as well as bird watching. Lobsterville Beach offers a quiet spot to relax as well as two miles of shoreline to walk. Its calm waters on the vineyard sound also make it a nice spot for snorkeling. The beach is free and open to the public, but the parking is limited. Number three. Museum of Science. If you've ever dreamed of getting up close and personal with a 65 million year old triceratops, now might be your chance. With over 30 exhibits, a four dimensional planetarium, and live expert presentations, Boston's Museum of Science proves that learning can be a blast. Every season brings new traveling exhibits to the museum so you'll experience the latest in science and technology while you're never seeing the same thing twice. Coming at number 4, we have Fenway Park. Even if you're not a fan of the Red Sox or baseball in general, no trip to Boston would be complete without a visit to Fenway Park. Built in 1912, Fenway is the oldest active ballpark in the Major League Baseball and has had the honor hosting the World Series 11 times. Guests can take a guided tour of Fenway Park to learn more about the tradition of baseball Number 5. Harvard Art Museums. If your idea of a great vacation is to learn about art and history, can you think of a better place to do it than Harvard? Of course not! Referred to as Harvard Art Museums, there are actually three facilities on campus. Harvard's art collection is comprised of over 250,000 pieces including masterpiece paintings, modern sculptures, and ancient Egyptian artifacts. Coming at number six, we have the Emerald Necklace. Located in the heart of Boston, the historic Emerald Necklace Park System is a destination for more than a million visitors each year. Whether you wanna go for a jog, take a sailboat ride, or simply kick back on a shady bench, this might be the best place to do it in all of New England. The sheer beauty of the emerald necklace can be attributed to its designer Frederick Law Olmsted, who is considered the father of landscape architecture. Coming in at number 7, we have the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. Located just south of Fenway Park, this museum showcases a gorgeous collection of sculptures, tapestries, and paintings from Europe and Asia. Despite the stellar collection of art, most visitors flock to this museum due to the infamous solved art heist in 1990. On March 8, two thieves walked into the museum dressed as policemen and walked out with 13 pieces of art, valued at half a billion dollars today. Coming back north, we have TD Garden. The home place where the Celtics and the Bruins play. The Celtics were one of the first NBA teams. Since their start in 1946, they have been one of the most successful teams, winning 17 NBA championships, including 8 championships in a row. The Celtics' 17 championships is more than any other team. Boston also has one of, if not the best hockey teams, the Boston Bruins. The Boston Bruins American professional ice hockey team based in Boston that plays in the Eastern Conference of the National Hockey League. The Bruins have won the Stanley Cup six times. 
If you share a unique love with marine life, then you'll definitely not want to miss our number 9 spot. Coming at our number 9 spot, we have the New England Aquarium. This aquarium is one of its kind and the best in Massachusetts. Having over 600 different types of species of marine life and 20,000 different animals in general, having the African penguin, the American lobster, and even the green anaconda, this aquarium is the best. There's also a section in the aquarium where, with your bare hands, you could touch the cow nose stingray. It is definitely a one of a lifetime experience, so if you're in Boston, you should definitely check out the New England Aquarium. That's it for today guys, hopefully you all now have a better understanding of Massachusetts and where to go on your vacation. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment on what we should cover next. Thank you all so much for watching, have a wonderful day.